Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to solve this mysterious equation, and we're going to solve for x. Our equation is this. So what we have here is we have x over n t e squared i minus l times l k plus s e h f m over n t e squared and that is set equal to p s plus d squared over e squared. Okay. Now all these are variables uh, here, so none of them are just some numbers. It's a variable represents numbers, but they're all variables, and we just want to practice getting x by itself. So first thing I notice is I see an n t e squared kind of in the denominator on this side. There's an i there, but we don't have to worry about that right now. We have n t e squared right here and here, and there's kind of an e squared here, so if I multiply n t e squared to both sides, we're going to eliminate some of uh, the fractions here, okay? And this is going to be helpful. So if I multiply here both sides by n t e squared, now remember, we're going to have to distribute, so it's through everything. So I just put parentheses here just so we can see that. And the same thing on this side. We're going to multiply both sides by um, n t e squared. Okay, now this is going to eliminate some stuff for us. Okay, on the left hand side, what's great, this denominator is gone, most of that denominator is gone, and then we can cross it off there. We're kind of killing two birds with one stone. The e squared will go here when we distribute it, but we'll cover that in a second. So let's simplify this side first. We're left with x over the i, and don't forget the i, it's still there. Okay, it's like its own little cell. Eventually we'll release it. And we're left here with L times LK plus SEHFM. And that's equal now to the right hand side. Now, when we distribute here, we want to again not forget everything. Okay, so we distribute the NTE squared to the PS. So we're left with PS NTE squared plus, now we distribute this here, okay, to the D squared over E squared. E squares will cancel out somewhat, and now we're left with um, n t d squared. Okay. Well, we want to get remember x by itself. Okay. We don't want to just sit in there by itself. I don't want watching it. So what we want to do is bring this part, whole thing, over first. Now, some people like to distribute first, but I see this whole thing as a subtraction, opposite of subtractions, addition. Let's just bring it over to the right hand side. So let's go add that L times LK plus SEHFM to both sides. And I uh, put it over here. So let's put it right here. Plus, so it's easier to see. L times LK plus SEHFM. Okay. What's nice here, this whole thing cancels, and we're left with just X over Y here. Okay. And that's equal to, for space, I'm going to put the equal sign here so we can write it all out. Nice and neat. And we have this. Yeah. We have P S N T E squared plus N T D squared plus L times L K plus S E H F M. All right. Now, I want to distribute this L across. Let's just get that over with, so it's not just there. So again, rewrite the left-hand side, x over i, and that's equal to p s n t e squared plus n t d squared plus l times l k, and then we should put the l to the second part, plus s e h, uh, oh, let's put the l up here, l s e h f I almost forgot the l, don't forget that. Now lastly, we want to get x really by itself, right? This i is locked in its own little cage, in its own little cell, and so we want to get rid of that, out of that denominator. And remember, we have to multiply it to the whole right-hand side. We have to distribute there. i's cancel here, and x is by itself. And we distribute the i over here, the first part, we kind of wrote through it, but it's all good. 
we have P, S, N, T, E squared times that I plus I to the second part. Don't forget everything. You got, it's always in the details, right? You have to examine all the details to get the truth here. I times N, T, D squared, I plus L, L, distribute the I again, K, I, that's an L, plus Lastly, we have L, S, E, H, F, M, I. Let's read the I to the last part here. Okay, so we're almost there. We're pretty much, I mean, done. X is by itself, but I personally like to break down all the details and really, I don't like having things squared uh, when I write my final answer, so I'm just gonna eliminate all the squares, rearrange things that look nicer, and then we're done. X will be, um, it's basically, I mean, the proof's right there, but like I said, we like to get it all done, right? Make it nice and neat and pretty. So we have x equals, we're going to rearrange this and take it right, get rid of the e squared. So e squared, we know, is e times e. So we have e, p, s, t, e, i, n, plus d squared is d times d. So we have d, i, d, n, t, plus here, uh, k, I L L and lastly H I M S E L F and so our final answer here okay once X is by itself is just X equals E P S T E I N plus D I D N T plus K I L L plus H I M S E L F all right, so now you know how to solve for x for this mysterious question. Uh, please hit the like button and comment down below, and please subscribe to this channel so we can keep making videos that inform everybody. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.